shine the shadow of our love. When I had come, I knew that it was going to end eventually. But I wasn't ready to come back. Because the person who I was when I left, I was no more that person. Je m'appelle Manassi. When you leave, take everything. So I went the to uh, district number 1520, which is in the north of France. In the lies, the twist of life. I went to this little village called Nia with only 7,000 people. I was in a space where I felt like I needed to, I needed some time with myself. But I don't think you can actually be prepared for something as, such as this, of not knowing what's to come. My host mom, her name was Estelle, and my host dad, his name was Sebastian. They took me out in Paris on the first night itself at a restaurant, and I did not understand the table conversation. I called my mother and I just cried. We got home and when I entered my room, on one side of the wall there was a huge Indian flag painted. I think that's when I realized that these people were actually caring for me and I just fell in love with them at that moment. When you leave, take all of you, the memory of you. It took me about a month to get used to that particular family and the house, but it took me six months to get used to the country. They try and talk to me in French, but slowly, and I'd help them out with their English. And I know a little bit about a lot of things, but I don't know enough about you. To help me further, they got these post-its, and they stuck it all over the house and they wrote the French word for that. The first word that I just somehow synced into in French was uh, poubelle, which means dustbin. I went on a student visa, which means I had to be enrolled in a school. So I was enrolled in the same school as my host brothers. It was called saint Jude. I know a little bit about a lot of things, but I don't know enough about you. As Rotary Exchange students, we have a blazer, and the blazer is basically a symbol of all our memories, our experiences, and the people we met on exchange, and it's something we hold very close to our hearts. So as exchange students, we had a sort of tradition that's been going on for years now, where we would go into the city called Lille, and we would sit on the lawn of this church called the Ugly Church. <laughs> We just were always active on the weekends. There was always something to do. If we stayed at home, we'd like mow the garden, or I'd catch up on some French, help my host brothers with the homework. But I don't know enough about you. I think that if you want to build a relationship, you really need to put in effort for it. So my host father is actually someone who's extremely fun-loving. He's always outgoing. He's extremely sweet. So I think my relationship with my host dad was a lot more of a friend. My host grandmom used to come over every Tuesday to help my host mom cook lunch. She taught me how to make crepes and she taught me how to bake a lot of cakes. So I picked up a lot from her. It's a day in France, it's called Repas Exotique, where everybody sets up stalls of their countries by cooking food of their nationalities. Food, I, for me, is something that just binds everyone together. I've often walked down the street before We lived on the border of France and Belgium The pavement always stayed beneath my feet before It was literally down the road, but it was another country Are there lilac trees in the heart of town? The architecture in Belgium was completely different compared to French architecture There was such a drastic change between the two that you actually got to know the cultural difference between the two countries. Rotary encourages having multiple host families. It gets too hard to leave if you stay with one family for the entire year. You get too emotionally attached. So my second host father, 
He wasn't a photographer, but it was his passion, and he would stand with me. He'd help me get the angles right. He'd help me get the settings right. Hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back. No we had a trip that Rotary organized for us to London. Hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. We all moved to the station. I looked to my, I looked to my left, and I saw the London eye against the sky, and I. I absolutely loved the way it was looking. I take my camera wherever I went. It was like a companion for me. It was something that helped me capture all these moments that I didn't want to forget. It's a photo of a group of exchange students walking towards Mont Saint Michel, which is also in the photo, and they have their country flags wrapped around them. It's just such a heartwarming picture just to see everybody come together in a world that is just all the time in conflict. So for me, this particular picture just symbolizes the whole essence of my exchange and what it meant to me. My bond with my exchange friends is so strong. These are friendships that are lasting because of understanding amongst each other. Here comes the rain again, falling on my head like a memory. Being on your own at the age of 15 was something, obviously, it gave me a lot. I learned a lot. But I had always been shy, never been too confident about myself. But I realized with all the time that I had to myself and I had nobody who could judge me, nobody who knew about me, I learned who I was and in doing that I learned how to love myself and respect myself. But I wasn't ready to come back because the person who I was when I left, I was no more that person. I was someone completely different. I just wanted to not leave but I knew that wasn't a possibility and I knew that when I had come, I knew that it was going to end eventually. Je voudrais dire un très grand merci à tout le monde en France. Je vous aime et vous me manquez beaucoup. Bisous. It's not a year in your life. It's your life in a year.